You're no friend of ours. Come on, tell me about your blue friends. She's still seeing that. 
I'm looking for Josh. Why? Thick of your teeth? He not here. Thank God. Pilgrim? Hello. Back off, man. You chose your side. And it's not ours. Frank is one handsome fella. It's a shame he's such a... Ader? Is that you? Hello, Pilgrim. This is my son. Oh, yeah, this is Aiden. I think we met when your dad was sick. Um, how's it going, Oya? Get lost. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. He's having a hard time. A lot's changed for us. And what happened? You see, Patricia and I have separated. And once I've recovered, the first thing I wanted to do was get that motherfu- <sighs> Sorry, kid, cover your ears. You mean that motherfucking waltz? You've cursed like that a hundred times in front of me. Yeah, him. Uh, Patricia had asked me not to. But I wanted revenge on Waltz for killing my men, for killing Lucas, and him escaping punishment, you know? Well, did you get him? Nah. A few days after I was walking again, I started looking for him. And Patricia pleaded with me, but... When I returned home after a few days, I found it empty. Patricia had moved out and taken the boys with her. Most of their things were gone. All I found was a letter. Just a few words, really. <laughs> Apparently, while I was stationed in old Villador, Patricia had made contact with her ex-husband. I've no idea what she saw in a stuffy old teacher. He's only our teacher. Jeez, Dad. Oh, yeah. Look, I know you're only trying to protect your mother. Although, to be fair, they aren't living together. I don't know what's going on. Mum left because she was tired of it all. She'd had enough. Yeah, that's true. More than enough, I suppose. Uncertainty, fear for me. Wondering whether I'd come back alive. But now I've only got one goal. To get my family back. I know how you feel. Sometimes, in our rush toward our goals, we forget about the people around us. You've been running around, looking for someone this whole time, haven't you? Yes, my sister. Walt may know something about her. I hope you don't lose yourself. Like I have. Patricia won't talk to me. Or yeah, well, you can see for yourself. Only my youngest gives me the time of day. I'm teaching him how to handle weapons. Being with them makes me stronger. I won't take any more of your time. I wish you the best, Ader. Wait. Remember Lazarus? It's a solid weapon. And it's unlikely to be of any use to me anymore. I was supposed to kill Waltz with it. You do it for me. You can bet I will. Bye, Oyer. Get lost. So that's the plan. Does your mother ever... She left a coat behind and you were supposed to bring it. Mm. You're a oh, man. Damn it, I forgot. You can be dead. Fine. 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 Okay. Fine. Okay. Fine. Okay. Fine. You know, so when they dug the metro in the 1960s... Oh, anything else I can do for you? After you bring the coat, everything in the blocks. Frank is one handsome fella. She calls on top of shit. Aw, don't act so offended. I was paying your tits a compliment. How about I pay your balls a compliment with my shoe? Everything all right? There you are. You aren't gonna admit it and Dick for Brains here starts hitting on me. Sorry, my dude. I, I was just making sure your girl was safe. So where is your boyfriend? At the bar, buying me a beer. Go ahead, buy yourself one too. Haven't seen you here before. Where are you from? Nowhere that matters. I'm looking for a friend. You ran across a guy named Josh. It's regular, I hear. Rings a bell. 
What do you want with him? Uh, just swap stories of our love lives. Could swap a few of those myself. But sure, if I see him, I'll let you know. Way he smacks folks around, he knows he's not wanted in the bar. Take care. Hey, your beer. No worries, I got it. Living the high life, aren't you? I heard you mention Josh. Try the roof, man. <laughs> Thanks. Civilization is but a whim of circumstance. Always knew it. Thank you, Hayden. I know what Please, you're doing. back off. This you're making me uncomfortable. Me. This chatter about the Night Runners rising from the ashes lately. People need hope. Rather be stuck in an elevator with a fire. Propaganda posters make me sick.
Who are you? You're Josh? I want to talk to you about Elena. Elena sent you? She sucked her latest cash cow dry already? Or maybe, maybe she wants to see me? Nobody sent me. I hear you know a thing or two about Elena. Important things. Yeah, right. You want to fuck her like all the rest of us. Now get out of here before I lose my temper and rearrange your face. I'm trying to listen to my tunes. <laughs> Talk. What secrets of Elena's are you keeping? All right. We hooked up not long after she lost her husband. Third chump in a row to kick it after being with her. You see? Spend money on her like it was going out of style. And then it was just... gone. Clear in my head real quick and I realized... Poison! She poisoned her former lovers and she was doing it to me! Poison? What kind? Got her own secret recipe. Apparently passed down from her old lady. Now from what I hear, you just as easily had alcohol poisoning. You think I don't know the difference? It's booze that saved me. I'm convinced. Knocked out that damn poison and saved my fucking life. Elena's a goddamn witch. She's got a whole stash of this shit in her apartment. Keeps it in these little orange boxes. Go check out her place on the ship. Okay, I'll take a look. Careful with that paraglider. If you hurt someone, I'll be forced to confiscate it. I wish bizarre folks would talk to us more. This feud is silly. We all want peace.
How about that? We'll change the tide of the war. I hear the PK engineers are working on alarms and electric traps. Until today, I thought our chances against the renegades were pretty good. But now, I'm not so sure. Crazy price! Howdy, soldier. Roger. Hey, so there's this thing. Black Monday bombing. You have me back last. I don't know, man. I can see a few red shirts.
one wrong move and I skewer you like a pig. You? So you're a thief. Tell me about this. Fuck you. This is my apartment. Get out now before I call the guard. I'll go for it. Sure they'd want to know about your poison too. So, you found Josh. And he said that I tried to poison him, right? Yeah, and that you're currently conning a man so that he'll turn over his shop and money to you, right? Except you've got plenty of experience killing, right? Hey, we all got our ways to survive. If mine is to have chumps throw their money at me, and their way is to throw all their money at me, well, win-win, I say. But I've never killed anyone. No way. Why should I believe you? You took the drunk's word for it. Why not take mine? Hey, there's more than that here. Remember four dead men? All while involved with you? What makes you think I killed them and not... Oh, I don't know. The virus or zombies. Look, wet behind the ears. That's medicine. My mother was a medic and taught me a few things. Open up. What's going on? Hide it. Quickly. Elena killed four people. This is the poison she used. This isn't poison. Just check. Ask Baba, the plague witch. She has a shop on St. Paul Island. She'll tell you I'm not lying. That charlatan? Please. If that's your best witness, you die tomorrow. Thank you, Aiden. That bitch got what she deserved. How did you convince your father to call the guards on her? It wasn't easy, but I panicked. I didn't know if I could trust you. I don't have anything else to give you, but I will talk to my father. I'm sure you'll be more than welcome in his shop.
Yesterday, for example, I ran for over an hour. You're wasting your time with that. You should be preparing for winter. But we already had supplies enough for winter.
nothing worse than the infected. Today, I'm not so sure. Renegades!
asshole. Ready for this? <laughs> Is that 